Uh, with the presidential and national assembly elections now concluded, Nigerians go back to the post this Saturday for governorship and state houses of assembly elections. Two of the issues that trailed the presidential and national assembly post on 25th February were widespread hiccups with the use of the bimodal voter accreditation system known as BIVAS and the inability of INEC officials to transmit results electronically on its IRF portal, especially at polling units. In this story, uh, just now, Jira Zina Balab explains the use of Beavis, the IRF portal, and what INEC is poised to do differently this Saturday. What they promised us that they will use the Beavis or whatsoever, they did it. Because that was the background rule that was established before the voting. So people expected no, it. But after but the they... election, what I had is that they, they, they now pronounced it through manual, which is wrong. Technologies such as the Bimodal Voter Accreditation System, Beavers, for voter accreditation and the INEC Result Vim Portal, IREF, are no longer just INEC policies. They are now legal requirements for elections in Nigeria. But a lack of clarity about these technologies dampened expectations, giving rise to rumors and uncertainty during the presidential and national assembly polls on February 25th. This confusion as well as reports of violence and irregularities in almost every geopolitical zone in Nigeria seem to be threatening the integrity of the polls. Despite reports of violence at polling stations during the presidential and national assembly elections in Lagos, Nigeria's commercial capital, residents here remain committed to the democratic process. I'm looking forward for this very uh, for the upcoming election. That is the governorship election. I believe people will come out. They turn out. The turnout will be even more than the presidential. Because we want a better Nigeria. That is why I want to vote. In River State, some residents protested alleged rigging, with claims that Beavers was kept in flight mode at many polling stations. The people are seeing the center the one where we put our hand. That thing go count. I think can't think go go the agori. But the people and I know work. As they carry and come, they do and tum 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 tum. You don't close, you know work again. To vote or not to vote depends on who you talk to here. I left my house as early as six o'clock, coming back as late as eleven o'clock. The person I expected that will win lost the election. I will vote. I will come out and vote. In northwestern Kanu State, security remains a key concern despite many voters' readiness to cast their ballot. From the hate speech and other things that are happening in Kanu State, people are scared and the state is getting tense. We need to vote people that we really trusted, people that we know they can really deliver, even if election is rigged you know you have done your own. The last elections in Sokoto State were largely successful, but the governorship and state house of assembly elections are closer to home, raising security concerns. When you are a child, 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 you are a child. Aside the violence and some irregularities recorded in certain states during the presidential and national assembly elections, a recurrent theme has been INEX Result Beam Portal, IRF. The presidential and national assembly elections have put Nigeria's new electoral law to the test. This law, which came into effect a year ago, was given presidential assent on February 25, 2022. The Electoral Act 2022 allows for the use of technology in election result transmission and accreditation which has been used in previous elections. The law says results should be uploaded to Beavers, which then automatically transmits it to IRF. INEC had promised that on any election day, voters will be able to view results in real time on IRF. That didn't happen on February 25th. Just use the Beavers to transmit the form EC8A to the IRF from the polling unit. And that is the law. And that is what we were out to do 
on that day until we'll experience this glitch. Yeah. So um, the loss is transmitted and we are, we, are, we are transmitting from the polling unit. And that is what we are also going to do during the forthcoming gubernatorial and uh, state uh, assembly election. Nigeria began using digital technology in the electoral process in 2011 when INEC implemented an automated fingerprint identification system to prevent voters from registering multiple times. In the 2015 general elections, the permanent voters card and smart card reader were introduced. And in 2022, INEC introduced Beavers, an electronic device designed to read permanent voter cards and authenticate voters using the voters' fingerprint to prove that they are eligible to vote at a specific polling unit. In order to ensure transparent accreditation and uploading of polling unit results, the Commission also launched IREV. Technical issues, however, prevented the results of the presidential and national assembly elections from being uploaded to the portal. But does not electronically transmitting results violate the provisions of the Electoral Act? Where a statute or a regulation uses the word all, it means it is in the alternative. So what I will say from this in my own in my own humble view is that INEC has the discretion to either electronically transmit results or use some other means to transfer the results. With only a few days to governorship and state assembly elections, what will INEC do differently? We are also going to relate with the security agencies, the ISIS committee, which uh, the commissioner of police is, is, is the deputy uh, chairman of that committee, we are going to also have a meeting with them so that we can be able to talk more and uh, understand more on the issues. Um, what happened um, during the last election between INEC um, at the state level and the transporters uh, will not happen again. Um, uh, uh, a lot of things happen, but I think it's, it's been resolved now. Uh, so I, I can tell you for sure that uh, on, uh, on Saturday, March 11, uh, the logistics will be as simple as ABC. Experts say democracy only works when the people are willing to participate in the electoral process with the certainty that their voices will be heard and their rights protected. For now, INAC is promising improved security in the upcoming governorship and state assembly elections and a review of its operations. Whether or not this is reassuring enough to translate to a large voter turnout on Saturday remains to be seen. Zainab Bala, Just Nigeria.